this video goes over a definition check just to make sure we know the definitions of one-to-one -one and onto transformations. Sometimes when looking at different sources, the wording can be slightly different. We're asked to consider the transformation T from the vector space U to the vector space V, and we're asked to match the definition with the term. And again, the two terms are one-to-one -one and onto. The first definition reads, for all vectors V in the vector space V, there exists a vector U in the vector space U such that T of vector U equals vector V. So notice how the wording here is there exists a vector U. It doesn't say how many, but there has to be at least one. So we could reword this as there exists at least one vector U. And this does fit more along with the definition that we've been using. And the second definition states for each vector V in the vector space V, there is at most one vector U in the vector space U, such that T of vector U equals vector V. So we should recognize the definitions now, but just in case, looking at the notes below, a transformation T from our N to our M is one to one or injective. If for every vector B in our M, T of vector X equals vector B has at most one solution, vector X in our N. So here, because there has to be at most one solution, we know the second definition above is the definition for one-to-one, -one, which is A. And of course, the other definition will be onto. But let's go ahead and review that. A transformation T from our N to our M is onto or surjective. If for every vector B in our M, T of vector X equals vector B has at least one solution, vector X in our N. So again, the original wording was A vector U, but I think it's a little more clear if we change that to at least one vector u. This first definition is a definition of an onto transformation, which is b. Before we go, let's take a look at the mappings shown below, where this first mapping is one to one, not onto, and the second mapping is onto, not one to one. So again, for an onto transformation, there must be at most one vector u that is a solution to T of U equals V. So looking at the codomain of the mapping, notice how three of the four equations have one solution, where the solution to the first equation is the vector U sub one, the solution to the second equation is the vector U sub two, and the solution to the fourth equation is the vector U sub four. Notice how for this third equation, there is no solution or no vector U sub three in the domain. So there are either zero or one solution to each of the equations, which does satisfy the definition for onto of having at most one solution u to the vector t of u equals v. And the mapping is not onto because there has to be at least one solution, so this third equation here where there's no solution is why it's not onto. And now looking at the second mapping, which is onto and not one to one, if we take a look at this second equation here where we have t of vector u sub two equals t of vector u sub three, which equals vector v sub two, there are two solutions to this equation, both vectors u sub two and u sub three are solutions, which is why the mapping is not one to one, but it does meet the requirement for an onto transformation because both equations do have at least one solution. I hope you found this helpful.